Hey everybody, Nelson Diaz, Homestar Real Estate. Thanks for coming back to our video blog. Want to answer a question that actually comes up in my business uh, quite often, uh, and this is for primarily you buyers out there. I have buyers asking me all the time, well, what do I actually need to have in order to go ahead and submit an offer? I'm going to assume that we've gone through all the preliminary steps. We've actually spoken to uh, one of our lenders, uh, got a pre-qualification letter, and we've been out on the road looking at properties. So. We really need only four things in order to go ahead and submit an offer. It's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, the offer itself, which I would generate and then send over to you either for electronic signatures or, or handwritten signatures, whatever you prefer. Um, the pre-qualification letter, which I would already have had in your file. A copy of a good faith deposit check. This check just represents what you're going to be submitting into escrow uh, as your good faith. Um, it's that placeholder that gives uh, everybody a sense of security, uh, buyer and seller alike. Um, I say copy of a check because uh, back in the day we used to, and I say we as brokers, used to actually take your good faith money, deposit into accounts of our own, and have them uh, on hand. That way when uh, an offer is accepted, we would then deposit those monies uh, directly into escrow. That doesn't really happen very much anymore, at least in my business. Uh, I really cut out a lot of paperwork and, uh, and, and people sometimes didn't really feel too comfortable handing over a check and have it sitting in one of my accounts. So I only send a copy of a good faith check for that. And then one more thing that I typically send with all offers is simply uh, proof of funds for the down payment. Wherever that down payment money is coming from, we simply show a statement, uh, a printout. Uh, and once again, this just uh, just goes to show uh, another sign of strength uh, to the seller to say that we really are a viable buyer, that we're not going to have any issues in escrow, and that, uh, that they should really choose us. Um, so once again, making an offer is not complicated. Uh, the complications come uh, during the negotiation process, and I'll do a little video about that later. Uh, but uh, that's it. Super simple. Four things needed to submit an offer. Offer itself, copy of a good faith deposit check, pre-qualification letter, and proof of funds for the down payment. If any of you guys have more specific questions on buying a home, making offers on properties, feel free to go ahead and uh, reach out to me. Uh, click on one of the links uh, on the page uh, and you'll get my email. Uh, if you're a buyer and you're just getting started, please go directly to our buyer dedicated website, findinlandempirehomes.com. That site will go ahead and show you every listing that's on the market. If it's on my site, I promise you it is active and available. If you're a seller in this market looking to attract some of those buyers uh, that, we, that we have, please go to our seller dedicated website what's our value.com. It'll go ahead and give you a quick automated value. I'll then follow up with you uh, and we'll set, schedule an appointment uh, to go ahead and give you a more realistic market value. With that said, everybody, hope you're having a good day and uh, we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.